Well, my next guest is the author of Listening With My Eyes. So here to explain more and exactly what that means is author Patricia J. Conaway. Patricia, good morning. Good morning. So nice to be here. Yes. Well, hey, I got to say congratulations on your book because this is not just a year or two in the making, actually eight years in the making. Eight <laughs> years it took to write it because I had to take big spaces in between and sort of uh, extricate myself from mm -hmm. it a little bit because some of it was painful to write. Right. But so tell us a little more, because um, the title is Listening With My Eyes. What does that mean exactly? Can you tell us a little more? Sure. <laughs> it really is about nonverbal communication, which I learned from my horse. And um, as you know, many of us really communicate with our animals with nonverbal communications, mm -hmm. but sometimes we're not aware of it. And I became extremely aware of it because I had bought an abused horse that had been drugged mm -hmm. when I bought her. Oh my gosh. And when I got her home, she was dangerous, and so I had mm -hmm. to seek professional help. And I discovered that some of the things I learned that applied to my horse also applied to my mother, who had Alzheimer's and lost her ability to speak. Oh, wow. So can you give us some examples of how, you know, you would kind of non-verbally, like, speak with, with the horse, and then that kind of translated even to helping, you know, care for your mother? Sure. Well, when I got my horse uh, and the drugs wore off, I noticed that she was extremely fearful about everything. Mm -hmm. I also noticed after I had to kidnap my parents and bring them to New Mexico that my mother was fearful of everything because she, in her lucid moments, knew that she was losing her memory. Mm. So one of the things that was most important, I thought, well, there's several things, but I'd say the top three are, number one, apply the golden rule. Treat beings, all beings, mm -hmm. sentient beings, horses or people, as you would like to be treated. Um, also, treating people with respect. I learned to treat my horse res with respect. And also, I found that treating the elderly, especially my mom, with respect yeah. got me better results. Um, also, th one of the more specific things is that when you train a horse, I learned, it's the application or release of pressure. And pressure can be many things. It can be physical pressure or more important, energetic pressure, the kind of thing that people can pick up about your energy. Okay. They can sense tension exactly. and if you're stressed out. Exactly. Horses, horses okay. sense that yeah. a lot. Okay. And I found that if I were patient with my mother and treated her with respect and paid attention to her body language, her eyes, mm -hmm. her expression, her facial smiles or mm -hmm. frowns, that it was extremely helpful in, in me discovering how, interpreting what those expressions meant mm. and how to get her to help me help her. Okay. Patricia, we could talk all morning about this because we do a lot, um, a, a lot of different segments about Alzheimer's and caregivers. Last few words, any advice that you would give to someone who maybe is caregiving for their mother with Alzheimer's that you would want to tell them or share with them? Yes, I think it's important always to remember to slow down, okay. first of all. Take a breath. Take a breath. Deep breaths really help. Okay. And slow down. Always be patient. Okay. Remember to be respectful and treat people as you would like to be treated. That golden rule, right? The golden yeah. rule. And, um, and also, follow your intuition. I discovered that listening to experts often was not the right thing for my mother. Oh, wow. Okay. But when I paid attention to my own gut instincts mm -hmm. about what I thought she needed or what was the best thing for her at that moment, I learned to follow my instincts okay. and my intuition and sometimes put the advice of experts on the back burner. You can pick up a copy of Listening With My Eyes online and at local bookstores. And for more information, visit patriciajconaway.com.